In this tutorial, I will show you how we can set up a Venn diagram break in After Effects. If you have to animate a Venn diagram for your project, it's pretty straightforward if you're dealing with just two shapes. But what if you have three or more circles to animate and you want to add text and change colors and control the stroke and so on and so on? I will show you how you can set up an After Effects a rig using Essential Graphics panel. I will include a project file uh, to this rig on my Gamroad page in the description below so you can download it for free. So let's jump into After Effects and create our main circle composition. Make sure it's square because we want to use as much of its space as possible. Uh, double click to create a circle layer. I added two expressions and uh, this is to make sure that this layer will always stay in the center no matter the size of it. So as you can see, I cannot move it at all. So the first expression is on the anchor point. This ensures that the anchor point will always stay dead in the center of this shape layer. And the second expression is in the, on the position. And this simply puts this layer dead in the center of this composition. So if we open this layer in the essential graphics panel, what we need to do is a few things. I want to be able to modify the uh, size of the circle outside of this, uh, this composition so we can drag and drop it. But I prefer to do one extra step. What I did was I just created a slider on this layer and simply link it like so with a pick whip. And this way I can change the circle size from just one place instead of modifying two different uh, values. So we don't need that and simply drag and drop the slider. I want to be able to control a few properties. I want to be able to change the um, stroke color, the fill, we can change the size, but I want to be able to change stroke width as well. Okay, so now let's create our main a composition and drag and drop our circle shape like so. Okay, so what we've got is basically a layer which we can easily control from one space. Now, if I duplicate this bunch of times, this means I have, well, all the elements for my Venn diagram as I need, and I can um, control everything like color for all of them. Now, the problem is I want this to automatically rearrange in this circular pattern, as we can see from one space and just, just like fun out everywhere. Uh, and I want this to be dependent on the number of circular layer uh, we're dealing with. So if I have two, it will just go sideways. If I have three, it will range at like 120 degrees and so on and so on. So how do we set this up? Okay, so we need to create a null, which will be our controller. So this layer will control uh, most of things. I created a bunch of um, simple effects on our null uh, control layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link all the essential graphics properties to these sliders. And I'm doing this so I can control everything from just simple one layer. So I have all my um, controllers connected to one place, which is perfect. Uh, the next step is to basically offset the circle like so, uh, based on its size and how many layers we've got as well. We can do this very easily with anchor point. This expression in its original form, it's simply um, centering the um, anchor point in the middle of the layer. But I link this circle offset, the slider on the control layer here. So then I can basically offset Y point using this slider, as you can see, like this. So for example, if the circle size is 700, I can save to half of it and it will be offset to the just bottom. 
Now, the last step I need to do is deal with the rotation. So basically, I want every circle layer to rotate around 360 degrees based on the number of the circles we've got in our composition. So to do this is pretty easy. This is the expression uh, for rotation property. So let's see what's, what's happening. First, I'm defining the this layer's index number, which is this. Uh, then I'm trying to find out total number of layers in this composition, but I'm subtracting one from it because we have control layer over here and I don't want to include it in this calculation. Then I'm defining the rotational value, which is 360 degrees. So what I need to do next is simply divide well, our 360 degrees uh, by number of layers in this composition, which will be a number of circles, and simply multiply it by each circle index. So this is applied to the rotation. So if I duplicate this, as you can see, the layers are perfectly offset. And as you can see, everything is working as it should. And because we linked everything into our controller over here, as you can see, this is very easy to modify from one place. And by playing with the blending modes, we can easily affect how the whole thing looks like. And as you can see, we can easily animate this uh, from one place using only two keyframes and everything follows. So this is our very basic uh, Venn diagram. But what if you would like to add some text to it? This is very easy to set up. So we have our simple Venn diagram. What I'm going to do is duplicate our main circle. Like so, so I have two perfect copies. In this one, I'm going to create my text layer. What I'm going to do as well is copy paste expression on position. So this text will stay centered no matter what. And simply if we open this in the central graphics panel, what we can do is drag and drop the source of text in here. And if we change the, the text fill color, drag and drop it, then we can control the text from one space like this. So now if I open simple Venn diagram plus text, select all the main circle layers, select main circle plus text, and holding option and drag and drop like so, I will simply replace a um, basic main circle with the one with the text. And it's a little bit difficult to see it, but if I simply look for the color, as you can see, there's text color here. So what we can do is add another color control controller, call it text color, link it like so, and then delete all of these layers, just leave one on top and then duplicate it as many times as we need. Let's just keep it at four. Now, as you can see, text is pointing at the direction the um, main circle layer is rotated at, right? So this one is rotated at 90 degrees. That's why it's on a side. Same here, plus 270. So to correct this, it's a very easy thing to do. We simply have to come back to a main, main circle plus text layer, open it in central graphics, take the rotation, drop it here, and then go back to our Venn diagram with text. If you press R, you'll access both rotation properties, the rotation for well, this whole layer and the text rotation, and simply use a pick whip to link it to the main circle text layer, and then add a minus to the front and just use a semicolon at the end. So this means is the text layer will use exactly the same rotation as the main uh, circle layer, but the opposite negative. So if I just delete all text layers and then duplicate them again and again, and as you can see, now the text is facing us in the correct way. So this is the magic of linking everything from one place and then you know, being able to control it easily and quickly with the expressions.
And as you can see, you can rename every single layer independently using the essential properties on this layer, which is a text box. Now, I would like to add one more feature to this event diagram and its ability to offset the uh, text layer a bit to the side if it's being obscured by uh, other layers because it's a little bit difficult to read. If you go back to the text layer, the main circle plus text. Okay, so what I just did, I simply added two sliders, called them text offset X and Y. And then in the anchor point uh, expression, I linked them back in as a variables over here and simply added them to X and Y values at the end. If I open this composition essential graphics panel and then navigate to the these two sliders, and if I simply drag and drop them in this essential graphics panel, I will be able to easily offset, as you can see, the position of this text, no matter um, if it's being locked in, in the center of this comp. This will allow me offset the text like so on every single text layer. Like this. So this is your second um, Venn diagram break, which is more advanced. Now I will show you how you can create even more advanced version. You might end up in a situation where you can't easily distinguish between individual slices based on your color palette. And you would like to draw a bit more emphasis to let's say the middle part of your Venn diagram. It requires a little bit more setup, but we can achieve this by opening uh, our main circle text layer. What we need to do is grab opacity text and the circle itself. So then we can easily turn it on and off. So we've got our Venn diagram. I'm going to duplicate it. Rename it as a mat and simply drag and drop into another composition. Just call it as a multicolors. So this composition will basically allow us to easily highlight, let's say the middle part of the Venn diagram. So in our mat, what we need to do is few things. So first of all, I'm going to link the text opacity to a slider on a control layer like so. Just copy and paste it so we can turn off text nice and easily. So next I need to make sure that the color in the middle is the uh, either the lightest or the darkest one. So the way we can do this is simply with a circular fill like this. If I turn off the stroke size to zero, this is easy to see. And we're going to use this layer as a mat. So if we go back to our multicolor layer, switch them around. And what I'm going to do is she thinks just remove all the saturation. And now in the levels effect, I can easily isolate. There we go. The layer I want to get rid of with this simple slider, like so. There we go. So this is our mat. And what we can do is make a shape layer. Let's say I want to change the color of this shape layer to something like red. And what I'm going to do is this um, diagram mat we just created as our mat for the highlight. And I make sure that we are using the Luma mat option. Finally, if I turn this layer on, our Venn diagram and do the same thing, Luma mat, but invert it. So I'm simply cutting this mat out from this setup. And finally, I can simply enable it. And this way you can easily um, highlight specific parts of your Venn diagram in different colors, separate from your main colors on the Venn diagram itself. 
I simply duplicated our um, Venn diagram text layer and again turned off all the text and changed the fill to plain white and the stroke to plain black. And what we can do is simply drag and drop to our main layer and use a blending mode like this to add a stroke outline across everything. And that's how you build a Venn diagram setup. There you go. And you have everything nicely animated and it's easy to change colors of the fill, of the highlight, of the text itself. And you can animate all of it from one place. And that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll make sure to include the project file with the write up on my blog and the camera so you can download it for free.